Hello guys, my name is Eugen and this is 64 gigs iPhone 11, black iPhone. This is the cheapest iPhone of the new products that were introduced, but I think it will be enough for me to make my modest video reviews. I'll make comparison reviews on my channel as well as record videos with this phone, because video recording is one of the best on the market or even best at the moment. And I will tell you even more. Lots of my video reviews were filmed with previous version iPhone XR. It is awesome. Since this is the cheapest Apple's 11 series phone, Apple is greedy and they don't put fast charging in a box. And in addition, apart the iPhone, we as always can find manual stickers, 5-way charging with wire and headphones with lightning. There were lots of rumors about USB Type-C in new iPhone, but it is not here it's saved for the next generation. I want to know that iPhone 11 Pro comes with fast charging and also a lightning to USB Type-C wire instead of lightning with regular USB. Okay, iPhone. Many said that they really did not like this model with cameras and when they saw it in reality they said it is still not so bad but um, guys um, it is bad and I don't like how it looks. But soon we will see many similar copied phones on the market because the design of Apple is always copied by everyone. As a rule, the front is familiar because it is absolutely identical to 10R. The screens are the same, PPI, color reproduction, view angles, all the same. And using experience about cameras is also the same. And also, in size, these phones, 10R and iPhone 11 is exactly the same, 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 same. So it's almost the same phone, but the differences are inside and here they are. Processors are different, Apple A13 Bionic versus Apple A12 Bionic. Uh, thanks to this, productivity increased by 20% and what is important, energy efficiency is 30% better. Added one gig of RAM, now it is four gigs of RAM versus three gigs of RAM. They added a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera in 10R, there was no such camera at all, but here they also could add some more megapixels because on ultra wide you need to install models with a lot of pixels. It is not for nothing that other manufacturers do it. Improved front camera now it is 12 megapixels and not 7 as in iPhone XR and the capture angle is wider and in addition it can record 4K with 60 FPS. Battery is increased a little bit by 168 hours. IP68 is added versus IP67 on iPhone XR and what else? At present presentation they said that they improved the angle of face ID but I did not notice this at all. And in fact these are all main changes and by the way the price at the start is less than 10R. 10R at the start was more expensive. In this video I won't dig deeply into performance of the cameras but I will give you an example. Despite the fact that 10R shoots very well there are still differences in photo and in video as well. At the maximum possible resolution of 4K 60fps, iPhone 11 records videos better. The dynamic range has become higher. Look at the examples and the photo part also improved when comparing 10R to iPhone 11. This is the first video with an iPhone 11. There will be more, a lot of comparisons and a lot of interesting stuff. My name is Eugen, if you didn't know, subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and have a nice day guys. Всем добра!